Okay, today we're going to talk about what you need to do to prepare for your state hands-on practical test. You'll be doing that at the Prove exam site. So it's really important that you go through a practical review, review, review with me one time and then at that point you can book your state board practical on Prove exam site, um, proveexams.com and it will give you a schedule of where you can schedule it. They have them in Sandy, Provo, and here in Layton. Once you've scheduled that test, then you'll go through it the second time around. They're gonna give you a confirmation email with that receipt. You need to have that either on your phone or printed out to give to them. You also need a picture ID, a government-issued picture ID. It cannot be a temporary ID. You can use a passport, but you have to have some kind of federal-issued ID in order to uh, gain entrance into it. You have to have confirmation of that. You also have to make sure that your ID is your legal name. It is your probe exam and your DOPL licensure must match your federal ID. If you go by any nicknames, if you have a middle name, it all has to match. Otherwise, you will get there and they will send you on your way. You'll have to repay to get back in. All right, inside of your practical packet, like I said, it tells you everything that you need to know what you can take, what you can't take. In the nail tech portion, you cannot wear any bracelets. You cannot wear any necklaces. If you wear glasses, you're gonna want to, uh, they're gonna have you take them off. They're gonna look at it to make sure that you have no cameras within your glasses. And you cannot wear a ball hat either. But if you have long hair and your hair falls forward um, and touches the table, you must pin it back. If you have little streamers or you're constantly a hair tucker, you're going to want to make sure that you pin that back because the more you touch your hair, the more uh, likelihood of you failing. So once you've read through all of this, they're going to have you go through your kit. When you go inside after they've done your confirmation, they're going to look at your kit. What they're going to have you do is come in, they're going to have you open up your kit. What they're looking for is your acrylic kit. You have to make sure that it is manufactured seal. So you're gonna open it, you're gonna take your top portions out. At the very bottom of your kit, there is the smallest bag. You're gonna open that bag up, and inside, we have an acrylic odorless kit. They're looking to make sure that it has a manufactured seal on that monomer, or that it is sealed and tight. If it's not, or it appears to be open, they're gonna, again, send you on the way, and you're gonna have to come back another time and you'll have to prepay again or repay again. Once they check that and they give you the okay, you're gonna put this back in the kit. You wanna make sure that you're very careful, don't shove it, because this is just a one-time use acrylic brush and it can bust at the ferrule. So we're gonna carefully put it right back where we got it. We're gonna zip up our kit and we're gonna put it right back where we got it. Make sure everything is standing up straight just like you've got it in. This is gonna help you throughout the test to make sure you put it all the way back. We're gonna lid it back up, make sure there's no peep shows. None of our bags or anything are peeping out. You're gonna lid it on both sides and they're gonna send you inside of the facility. Okay, when you're gonna take the practical test, you will need a kit. You can build the kit yourself. However, I highly encourage you to rent the kit from the Nail Tech program. We have it all made for you. You have everything that you need inside of the kit. It's all packaged for you, ready to go to ensure that you have everything you need to take that test. How you rent it is you go to the reception, nice reception later in the salon building. You tell them you need a practical nail kit and they'll charge you for that, whatever the charge is at that time. What's inside of your kit? Let's go through it now. Inside of your kit, you have three sacks. They are all lined. You have one soil linens, to be disinfected, and trash. You're also being scored that you know where each of your items are going to be disposed of as you use them. You have two clients. You have a client one, which is your biggest bag. Your client one, you'll be performing a manicure polish application and a polish removal. Your client two is your blended tip and acrylic application. You'll be doing that on client two. This is your client, a mannequin hand with a pre-prepped pre hand with glossy tips. You also have barbicide wipes. You cannot use spray. It is required that you use barbicide wipes or rejuvenate wipes or some type of a disinfection. 
you're gonna have one baggie of gloves and you're gonna have hand sanitizer. It must be jelly. Again, they don't allow aerosols. Okay, once they've got your confirmation and all that, they're gonna lead you into the room where there's eight tables set up. They'll either assign you a table or you choose a table. As long as there's proctors, you'll have two to three proctors. They're not in front of you. You can talk amongst yourselves, but once they're in front of you, you're gonna to want to remain silent and listen to the directions. When you go in, you're gonna to wanna to put your kit on your non-dominant side. So if you're right-handed, you're gonna set the kit on the floor on your left-hand side. If you're left-handed, you're gonna put it on the floor on your right-hand side. At that point, when the proctors get up in front of you, you're gonna remain silent and they're gonna say, you'll prepare your work area for your client. You'll set up all the universal supplies you'll use for throughout the examination. You'll also set up the supplies for a manicure polish application, follow all client safety and disinfection control procedures. You have 15 minutes to do this section. They're gonna tell you when you have eight minutes remaining. Do not demonstrate any skills until the verbal instructions are given and you're told to begin. And you'll turn the hand towards the examiner to indicate you've finished. The instructions will be repeated. Wait for them to be repeated and wait for the words you may begin. At that point, I'm going to have you stand. The reason why I have you stand is the likelihood of you putting that lid or anything on the floor is high. You're going to reach down. You're going to unlock your kit. You're going to put the inside of the kit to the outside of your body under your arms so you have both hands to use. You're going to reach in and you're going to get your three garbage sacks out. You're going to lid this down. Make sure it locks on both sides. If you have a kit that has a lid, you must snap it on both sides. You're gonna take these garbage sacks and you're gonna put it on top of your lid. Do not put it on top of your table or your chair. The table has not been disinfected. You're gonna set them up loud and proud one at a time. Like I said, they are lined. They're labeled on all four sides. So the proctor has got to see it on at least one of those words because you are gonna get scored on what you do in there. Don't prefer, be afraid of noise. You want these open really loud. Don't be, or proud, loud and proud, don't be afraid of noise. You're gonna set them up one at a time, trash, to be disinfected in the center, and soiled linens at the very end. The reason why we have you set those up like that is 85% of your kit is gonna go in the trash. The other 10% is going to go in the to be disinfected and you only have three items that is going to go in your soiled linens and that is your terry towels. Make sure that they're not leaning. Make sure that they're standing loud and proud. Once you get those in, you're going to get back into your kit. The inside of the lid to the outside of your body. You're going to reach in. You're going to get your little bag of gloves, you're going to get your hand sanitizer, and your barbicide wipes. When you take out your hand sanitizer, do not pick it up by the head. You never want to touch any products by the head. It must be by the body, and watch where that tip is at. Do not let that tip touch anything. You cannot hold this against your body. You've got to be a circus act. You're going to lid this back down, and you're going to set everything down on top of your lid. You're going to sanitize. When you sanitize, you must use your wrist or this pad. You can't use your fingers, you can't use your palm, and do not go like this. You're going to keep your hand flat when you sanitize down here. And you're going to use your wrist. Keep it flat and away. Do not cup it. You're going to get your hand sanitizer. This is going to be down on your lid. Okay, so you're going to sanitize. And you're going to go above your wrist. You're going to get into your bag of gloves. There's only one ball of gloves, so do not fish. Don't go like this and be dainty. Reach in, get the gloves. This is now trash. Any open bag is considered trash, so we want to get rid of it. Put it all the way in. We don't want any peep shows. Don't transfer. This hand is soiled. We have to clean it. You're going to use this hand, and you're going to re-sanitize. Then you're going to put on your gloves. Don't let the gloves touch your body. And don't let your gloves touch the table. Once you got your gloves on, you're going to re-sanitize. Don't let the edge of your gloves touch the tip of the sanitizer. You're going to reach into your barbicide wipes and you're going to get one wipe. Don't let it peep show out, the second one come out. 
Once you get a little bit out, you're gonna to want to lid that back down. You're gonna quickly sanitize the table. You're just demonstrating the ability that you know the steps. At this point, we're going to take our gloves off and that barbicide wipe. We're gonna put it into our trash. We're gonna sanitize. We're gonna pick up our sanitize and our barbicide wipe and we're gonna bring it to the table. We're gonna re-sanitize. We're gonna get back into our kit the inside of the lid to the outside of the body. We're gonna get our biggest bag and our client, our mannequin hand. We're gonna lid this down first, make sure it snaps on both sides. We're gonna bring it to the table. And this is gonna tell them whether you're ready or not. So remember he told you, turn the hand towards the examiner to indicate you finished. We haven't finished setting up, so you wanna put your mannequin hand towards you. We're gonna keep her safe. Nothing can touch it, okay? So that's towards us. We're going to re-sanitize. We're going to get in and we're going to open this bag. We're going to get everything out of the bag. Remember, now this bag open is considered trash, so we don't want nothing to touch it. We're going to get everything out of the bag before we start setting up. Remember to pick everything up by the body, not by the head. Now this is trash. I'm gonna wad this trash up. I'm gonna put it all the way into the garbage sack. I'm gonna re-sanitize my hands because I've went to the garbage. And now I'm gonna to begin to set up for a manicure. Okay, my advice to you is to set up everything on your non-dominant side when you're taking it out of the sack. The reason being is remember we have our product cloth that we have to set up on our dominant side. So I'm gonna move everything over here. You have the whole table to use it. So what I don't like to see is everybody lining it up with the edge because the likelihood of something falling off. So make sure that you're utilizing your entire space. Inside here we have towels. And our product towel. So you're gonna set it up just like you've been taught for a manicure. We're gonna put our buffer cloth down. Now the table has been disinfected. So that means products can go on the table, but we only use these product buffer towels in case we spill, then we can remove it if we need to. You're gonna put your barbicide wipes right up here with the name barbicide, rejuvenate, citricide, whatever you have you're using right up here. We're gonna take our hand sanitizer. We're gonna put it skinny body wise, carefully, carefully and deliberately use the stick to move it to the side like this. I like to put it this way because when you sanitize, the likelihood of you touching that tip is less because it's out of your way. We're gonna put that there. We have our acetone we're gonna put next door. Then we have our water. It's a disposable water. You do not reuse the water. So we'll keep that in mind for later. There's your water. We have our cuticle cream we're gonna put right next to the water. Now we're gonna to start to angle down a little bit. We have our cuticle oil. We have our lotion. These lotions lock, okay? So make sure you have it open. Behind here, we're gonna put our first aid kit. We have our gloves and our first aid kit. We're gonna put right back here. Then we have our manicure bowl. This is a disposable manicure bowl, so keep that in mind and I'll help you with that in a minute. Inside that manicure bowl, we have cotton. We're gonna put the cotton in front of our acetone and we have wipes. We're gonna put them next door over here. Pull this over. We're gonna set this right here. This is garbage. We're gonna throw this away and we're gonna sanitize. We also have polish. We have them lined with elastic band to give you grip because your hands are gonna be lotioned up. You have base, top, and color. Put them as you grab. So our base first, our color second, and our top coat third. Word of advice, when you undo this, I would put the lid up, kind of a PSD moment, because it can tip and fall forward. We don't want it to spill, that's client safety. Next, we have our file pack. We're gonna get everything out of our file pack. Don't set the bag down and don't set up out of the bag. Get everything out because this is garbage. We're gonna throw this away and we're gonna sanitize and we're gonna set up. Remember, we need a product space right here. 
keep this voided space open. We're gonna go emery board, manicure brush, cuticle stick, manicure brush, cuticle stick, and buffer, okay? Keep that towards us, okay? So we got everything all set up. We still have one more move. It said to prepare your client for a service. That means the water. This is the most forgotten move. They have nowhere for you to fill your water bowl up, nor do they have anywhere for you to dispose it. So you're gonna take it, you're gonna unlid it, you're gonna keep the lid in your hand. Don't put it down. We're gonna fill it up. This container has like a, a spoon on it. You're gonna fill it up to that spoon. You're gonna lid this down. Make sure you lid it tight so it doesn't spill. You do not reuse this water. You wouldn't use the same water on another client. So we're gonna throw this in the trash. Make sure it's standing straight up because we don't want it to spill and make spill and we wanna make sure our liners are out. Now we went to the trash, we're gonna sanitize. I'm gonna sit down, I'm gonna pull my chair forward. I'm gonna re-sanitize and I'm gonna turn my client around and I'm gonna put my hands straight down so I am aware where my hands are. Okay, at this point you're all set up and you're just waiting for the proctors to come and check your area. Once they check the area, the proctors will then go up, up front and they're gonna say, you will now perform a manicure polish application. You will follow all client safety and infection control procedures. You have 20 minutes to do this section. They'll tell you when you have 10 minutes remaining. Do not demonstrate any abilities until the verbal instructions are given and you're told to begin. You'll turn the hand towards the examiner to indicate you finished. The instructions will now be repeated. Again, wait for them to repeat the instructions and wait for the words you may begin. At the point when they say you may begin, you're going to sanitize your hands. Then you're going to get sanitizer in your hand again, and you're going to sanitize your client's hands. And you're going to turn her around. You're then going to take cotton, and you're going to skin it. Remember, we're not rolling it in a ball. We're cupping it and we're just going like this to heat the cotton up. You're gonna take your cotton, you're gonna take your acetone, picking it up by the body only, and being deliberate where your fingers are so that you do not touch the tip. You're gonna drizzle some acetone over your voided space. We're gonna lift this right back up and put it right back in the where we got it. Client safety means everything is in order and everything is straight. You're gonna hold it pinky to thumb. You're holding the sidewalls down always. You're gonna keep it on the plate. Do not wrap it around the finger. You're gonna drop, hold one, two, rock and pull. And you're just demonstrating the ability. It does not mean you take a lot of time on it. You just drop, hold, rock and pull. They gotta see the motion that you know what you're doing. Once you've done that, you're gonna let go of your client. You're gonna throw this in the garbage and you're going to sanitize. Now we're going to take our, our emery board, holding pinky to thumb again under the sidewalls. You have to hold at least two sidewalls. You're not going to make a wall 20 degree angle under the free edge. Even though there isn't one, you're going to assume that there is. We're going one direction under, one, two, three. We're going to come back the other way, one, two, three. We're going to go to the next one. One, two, three. One, two, three, the next one. And you're just demonstrating the ability. That's all you have to do. And you need to put the file to the free edge. And they understand that this is, is not a real person. So they understand the frustration it is. You're just demonstrating the ability. Once you've shaped the free edge, you're gonna take your memory board, you're gonna throw that away, and you're gonna sanitize again. Now we're gonna remove the dust holding each finger cuticle to free edge. We're going to dust up the fingers one at a time. Once we get through this, this can be washed and sanitized or washed and disinfected. We're going to put this in, the to be disinfected, and I notice that my bag has fallen. So I'm going to put that in there. I'm going to re-stand up this bag, out and proud. And now I'm going to sanitize. Now I'm gonna uh, prep my sticks. 
I'm going to take a little bit of cotton. We're not creating a Q-tip, we're just buffering our sticks. We're going to buffer both sides of the first stick, get it nice and tight, and we're going to do one side of the other stick. Okay, now I'm going to soak. Remember, there's a real person on the end of this. So don't put her in the water like this or she's sitting over here or she's sitting over here and definitely don't put it here or she's sitting in your lap. You're going to hold her wrist and you're going to put her in here. You must douse the thumb up to the first knuckle. So you're going to go like this, done. That's how fast you're going to do it. We're going to move the water out of the way so we don't spill and her wrist doesn't touch it. You're going to put her under the water or under the towel. Tap, tap, tap. We're going to straighten out our towel. Now you're going to take your first cuticle stick on one end. You're going to unlid your cuticle cream. Put that in your voided space. Over here, we're going to put a little bit on there. Do not touch the tip to the cotton. We just want to put a little bit because it's not a real person. We're going to lid this back up. We're going to put it right back in its spot. Now we're going to hold under the hold both side walls and we're going to apply that cuticle cream. Remember, it's an acid, so we don't want to get it on the surrounding skin. We're just going to put it on there, and we understand that you can pick up from one to the other, holding each side while distributing that cream. Okay? Now I'm going to take the other side, and I'm going to push back the cuticle. Remember, we're putting the flat part of the orange wood stick to the side wall. We're going to circle up this side until we get to the horseshoe. We're going to gently push, circle, scrape. Do not put your stick up like this. It must be down here at a 20 degree angle, coming down. Now we're going to do the next one. Circle up this side, push, circle, scrape, push, circle, scrape, and coming down. We're going to do that to each one, holding each side wall as we do it. And you're just demonstrating the ability that you know the move. Now we're done with the stick, we're going to throw that away, and we're going to sanitize. We're going to move our bowl back over here. We're going to hold her by the wrist. We're going to take our second brush. We're going to go vertically and horizontally on the top to clean out that cuticle cream. And this is the only time it's okay to hold her by the wrist. I'm going to put this brush right back here. I'm going to take my second stick. I'm going to flip her around and we're going to use the cuticle stick lined with cotton to clean underneath her free edge. You don't use the manicure brush or that consider it unsafe. It could puncture that. I have you. Okay, I'm going to put her under the towel. I'm going to move my water over the over. I'm going to throw this stick away and I'm going to sanitize. I'm going to tap, tap, tap and I'm going to gently push back the epinicium and clean up that plate. I'm going to bring her out, straighten out my towel. I'm going to take my wet brush to be disinfected. I'm going to sanitize. Now I'm going to, I'm going to buff. You're going to go through your line of products and through your line of vials and it will virtually tell you the steps. When we buff, we always hold it, we're going to crunch it, and we're going to go back and forth. Wrist action, no cha-cha. It must be a wrist action. We're going to buff each one. Make sure that you're not hitting the surrounding skin or they'll consider it cutting your client. And again, you're just demonstrating the ability that you know the steps. Put her down. I'm going to throw this away and I'm going to sanitize. Now I'm going to get my oil. I'm going to be deliberate how I open it. I'm going to drop cuticle oil. Do not touch the tip to the finger. One drop on each finger. I'm going to lid this back up, put it right back where I got it. I'm going to rub it into the plate, up to the first knuckle, and onto the hyponychium. This is where the massage starts. So this is where you want to slow down a little bit, but you want to be through the massage of both the lotion and the oil before they call 10 minutes. If they've called 10 and you're not through, you got to hustle. 
We're going to take our lotion. Again, we're going to put it in the center. You don't need a lot because it's not going to soak in. It's going to make you slippery. We're going to put this back. We're going to cup it. Remember, it shouldn't go on both sides of your hands. We're just skinning it to keep it warm. Now we're going to apply it. At this point, your hands cannot leave your client. So both hands have to be on it. You're going to start at the wrist, and you have to do two separate massage moves. Make sure that you know your massages. You're going to come down, and you're going to push the blood flow back up. You have to know, they have to watch you know that you know how to make the circulation moves. Whatever you do on top, you have to do on the bottom. You're going to flip her around. Don't leave her hand. Don't feather off. No tap her or whatever until you've moved the blood flow. And then you're going to do two separate ones. I'm going to do this one. And whatever you do on the bottom or top, you're going to do on the bottom. Bring the blood flow up and down. Quickly do it. Now at this point, now I'm going to start at the wrist and I'm going to feather off coming down all of the fingers to bring the flood, blood flow down. Do a little tap moment. We're done. Now we're going to cleanse the plate. We're going to take a little cotton, get it warm, our acetone, drizzle. We're going to hold each side well, just like we did before. Drop, hold, rock, and pull. Let go of your client. Throw that away. Sanitize. Now you're going to get your top coat, and it's not going to open. I already know that is, and because my hands are very slippery. So I'm going to get more sanitizer. And I'm going to try to get all of that lotion off of my hand. Say I still can't open it. I could use my acetone to see how it opened. Now you're going to go ahead and you're going to put a base. And you want it really, really thin. Holding each slide wall. We're going to lift this back up. We're going to have a color. Flip it upside down. Roll it to incorporate it all. We're going to open this one up. And you're not going to wait in between. You're just going to go after it. And you're going to apply two coats of color. Make sure to cap the free edge. What they're looking for is it smooth in appearance. It, it's not touched any of the surrounding skin. And there's no shadowing. You're going to come back and do a second coat. Remember, not waiting in between. The second coat I would float on so it doesn't drag. I'm going to lift this back up. Go after our top coat. Holding it under it, leave the sidewall. Back up. 
put it right back where we got it. We're going to take our towel. We're going to put this into the soil lids. We're going to sanitize. We're going to take our water. We're going to make sure that that lid is tight, tight, tight. We're going to put this into the trash because we can't reuse this water. What you should do is reach down and then get that bag that you have that it came out of. Set your water inside of that bag so it does not spill. If it spills or leaks, that is a big job. It's client safety. So just ensure yourself, give your insurance policy, put that in straight up. Make sure your bags are out. I'm going to sanitize my hands. Make everything is in a straight row. Turn my client around. Done. Okay, now the proctors are going to say, you will now remove the polish from all five fingers. You will also dispose of all the products used in the previous section, which is a manicure section. You have five minutes to do this. They'll tell you when you have three minutes remaining. You do nothing until the verbal instructions are given and you're told to begin. They'll repeat the, pro the instructions again. When they say the words begin, you will sanitize your hands. You're gonna get sanitized. You're gonna sanitize your client's hands. Be careful, your polish is wet. Now we're gonna get our wipes. You're gonna get one wipe. Remember, we don't wanna wrap it around the finger. Instead, we want to fold it in force. We're gonna get our acetone, picking it up by the body. Be deliberate when you open it. Drizzle it over our voided space. Lid it back and put it right back where you got it. Holding under the sidewalls. This is very easy because it is a slick finger. So you're gonna drop, hold, one, two, three, push with pressure, rocking back and forth, and then pull down. And most of it should come right with it. If not, you're just gonna keep after it. You wanna keep it clean as a whistle. You want it clean as a whistle. Okay? It can hue the surrounding skin pink, so you gotta get that off too. I'm gonna to throw that away and I'm gonna get a clean one to prevent that from getting onto the other finger. And you're gonna continually do this until all of the polish is off. Holding each side while drop, hold, rock and pull. Okay, now we have removed the polish from all five fingers. They want us to dispose of all the products used in the previous examination. That is everything that we did in manicure. I'm gonna take this towel, I'm gonna to throw this away, and I'm gonna sanitize. I'm gonna take just the manicure. Our general station includes our barbicide, our first aid, our sanitizer, acetone, and cuticle oil. Do not take your cuticle oil away. You need that throughout the examination. I'm gonna take my extra cotton, my wipes. I'm gonna throw them away. I'm gonna sanitize. I'm gonna take the cuticle remover, my lotion, and my polishes. These can be reused once they're washed and put back clean. We're gonna put these in the to be disinfected. And then I'm gonna sanitize. And I'm gonna turn my client around. Done. Right, now the proctors are gonna say, you will set up for a new client. You'll set up all the universal supplies you'll use throughout the examination. You'll also set up a blended tip, sculpted nail, and sculpted nail removal. You'll follow all client safety and infection control procedures. You have 10 minutes to do this section. They'll tell you when you have five minutes remaining. Do not do any procedures until the verbal instructions are given and you're told to begin. You'll turn the hand towards the examiner to indicate you're finished and the instructions will now be repeated. Remember, do nothing until they say the words you may begin. You are just setting up for the next client. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna sanitize your hands. You're gonna sanitize your client's hands. You're gonna turn her around. I want you to put it right over here on your product cloth. You're going to take your soil linen and we're going to put that in the soil linens. We're going to sanitize. This is where I stand. I would reach back and get your gloves. Do not let the back touch the table or anything on the table. You're going to reach in. Again, these are in balls of gloves. Don't fish. Reach in your whole hand and get one ball out. Zip it back and put it right back where you got it. You're going to put your gloves on. I'm going to sanitize. 
I'm going to reach and I'm going to get a barbicide wipe. Just one. Make sure it lives. We're going to wipe this side. I'm going to put my barbicide wipe in the trash. I'm going to sanitize. Now this side of the table has been disinfected. I'm going to move all of these items over here. Remember to pick them up by the body, not by the head. This, our buffer towels, our trash. I'm going to take these, put them in the trash. I went to the garbage. I'm going to sanitize. I'm going to get another barbicide wipe. I'm going to wipe this side of the table. Now I'm done with the barbicide. I'm going to remove my gloves and that wipe. I'm going to throw that away. I'm going to sanitize. I'm going to reach into my kit, inside of the lid to the outside of my body. I'm going to grab my last bag. I'm going to lid it back up, make sure it latches on both sides. Bring my bag up, re-sanitize before I get into that bag. And I'm going to unload everything out of that bag. Don't let nothing touch that open bag. It is trash. I'm going to throw this in the trash. Make sure it goes all the way in and that your liners are as out as best as you can. We're going to re-sanitize and you're going to set up your station. In this one you only have one Terry, but you have two buffer cloths. To set up your general station like you did before and again your products can go on the table because it has been disinfected all right in this one you have three bags four bags excuse me you have your acrylic bag i'm going to wait for a minute to do that you have your removal bag, you have your general bag that has a bunch of supplies, and you have your file bag. I'm going to open up my removal bag first. I'm going to remove everything out of it. I'm going to set it right below my first aid kit. This is garbage. Throw that away and sanitize. Make sure everything is nice and straight. Doesn't matter the order, just make sure it's nice and straight. Now I'm going to get into my general bag. Remember, don't set that down because an open bag is garbage. I'm going to get everything out up here before I set up because this is a garbage sack and I want to dispose of it. Throw this away and I'm going to sanitize. I'm going to put my wipes right up here by my sanit my sanitizer. I'm going to put these guys right over here for right now. I'm going to put my tips and my clipper here. I'm going to put these guys right here. I'm just getting everything out before I, stand, or before I set up. I'm going to get in here. I'm going to get my files out. Garbage. I'm going to throw this away. I'm going to sanitize. There's no particular order, it just needs to be straight. Okay, now we have our Tammy bag. Okay, now we have our acrylic, our odorless acrylic. You're gonna get everything out of this bag. We have an acrylic brush, our forms, oop, 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 powder, our monomer, and our primer. We're gonna throw this bag away and we're going to sanitize. Your brush can come in this little bag like this, or it can come plain with a plastic cup. You're going to have to open this bag up. You're going to use your, your scissors. You can't use your teeth. You can't pull with your fingers. We're going to open that up, put my scissors back. Any garbage that falls, we need to throw that away right away. So this coming off is garbage. I'm going to throw, let go of my brush, I'm going to throw that away, and I'm going to sanitize. This also has a little plastic tip on it. I'm going to get that off, put my brush down, I'm going to throw that away, and I'm going to sanitize. 
Your brush, whenever your brush is not in your hand, it must be under cover. So I am going to put that right up here next to my wipes with one wipe over the top of it to keep it nice and clean. Now we have our forms. Our forms come in a little bag as well. I'm gonna get those out. I'm gonna put these over here. I'm gonna throw the garbage away and I'm gonna sanitize. Okay. Now you can see that the powders and the monomer have a factory seal on it. You have to take these off and you can't use your fingers. You must use your tweezers or your scissors to help you get them open. You also have an empty dampen dish. We're gonna open that dampen dish up on one side. The first thing you wanna open up is your powder. The reason why is if the tweezers or any of your tools that you use to open it gets wet with the monomer, it can get into the powder and polymerize. So we want to open this up first and not have that happen. So we're gonna use this to open this up. That's garbage. Put this down. I'm gonna throw this away and I'm gonna sanitize. I'm gonna open up my powder. You seriously am. You're gonna keep this in your hand. Don't set it down because we need to get rid of this. You're gonna pour however much you need and I would pour it to the full because you can't go back for more. We're gonna lid this down. We're gonna put the lid on this and this is gonna go in your to be disinfected. And I'm gonna sanitize. Okay, your monitor also has a factory seal. Sometimes you can just pop that open, which this one did, and the seal stayed on. If it didn't, then you've got to pick up the garbage, lid this back up, throw it away, and sanitize. We're gonna open this side right here. We're gonna pour our monomer in. Make sure you get enough. Just fill it to the top because you can't go back for more. We're gonna lid this back up. We're gonna lid our mop, this dampen dash back up. You're gonna throw this away into your to be disinfected and you're gonna sanitize. Okay, now we're gonna move this over here. We're gonna put this in order. This is gonna help you know the steps by the way that you, you design this. So you're gonna put your tips with your clipper like this. We're gonna put our glue, our dehydrator, our forms, our primer, and our acrylic. Like I said, it doesn't matter. Just make sure it's all straight in order because that is client safety. Once I've got it all set up just like this, I'm gonna sit down, pull my chair forward, sanitize my hands, and turn my client around and put my hands right next to it. Okay, the next section is blended tip. The proctors are gonna say, you will now perform a blended tip application on a whatever finger they assign. It's always these three fingers, so listen to the finger that they assign. Today we're gonna to do a blended tip on the index finger. You're gonna follow all client safety infection control procedure. You have 20 minutes to do this section. They'll tell you when you have 10 minutes remaining. Do not demonstrate any abilities until the verbal instructions are given and you're told to begin. Turn the hand towards the examiner to indicate that you've finished. The instructions will now be repeated. Wait for them to be repeated and then start when you hear the words begin. What you're going to do is sanitize your hands, get more sanitizer, sanitize the client's hands, and remember we're only focusing on the index finger. We're going to take a little bit of a wipe. We're going to rip some off, put it right back. We're going to fold it into fourths. Remember to be deliberate where you open it up. Drizzle it into your voided space. Lid it back up, put it right back where you've got it. Holding under both side walls, only the index finger, you're gonna cleanse the plate, drop, hold, rock and pull. Throw that away and sanitize. Now you're gonna take your, your, or your vial. Now remember, it's teacup pressure. One finger has to be off of the vial so that you know the pressure. You're gonna come and you're gonna remove the shine from that natural plate. They know that it's an inanimate object so you can Move your fingers however you need so you can get to them. 
one finger off. You're going to remove the shine. Make sure you don't hit the surrounding skin. I'm going to put that back right where we got it. We're going to push back the cuticle. Put that right back where we got it. We're going to manicure brush down from cuticle to free edge and put that right back there. Do not dispose of these files. You need them to work till the end of this section. Keep them up because you can't retrieve them. Next, we're going to get our dehydrator. We're going to be putting on a plastic tip. So here's an advice. If this nail gets wet, that tip will not stick. So what I advise you to do is take your dehydrator and touch it up here in the cuticle area and then simulate coming down. That way, that tip will remain dry for you to be able to glue it. We're going to lift this back down. We're going to put it right back where we got it. We're going to take our tips. We're going to open up the tip bag. We're going to dump them out into our voided space. This is garbage. We're going to throw that away. We're going to sanitize. They have to see you size at least two tips. So find one that's too big or too small that you know is not going to fit and size it. They are a full well tip. That means the well has to fit at the free edge and come all the way down. It cannot go more than halfway down the finger. It can only go just above half. If it goes halfway down, you need to trim it back, okay? So I'm going to find one that fits a little better to that finger. And you want to make sure it goes sidewall to sidewall. If it doesn't, you're going to want to trim it back and put in the free edge into that whale and caulking it down. That one looks pretty good, but it's a little wide on that side. I'm going to trim it. Don't go too far. Okay, that one looks good. I'm going to take my file and I'm going to remove the shine from that tip. This will help so you can blend it too really quickly. Put my file right back. I'm going to kind of dust that off. I'm going to get my glue. If the glue doesn't open because it's been sitting on its side, you can put that down, you can stand, you can crack it on both sides, you can take acetone and drizzle it in there, however you can get the glue open. However, it has happened where the glue doesn't open. If there's a step or something you can't do, simulate, just simulate. And the glue one could be one of them. We're gonna take our glue, too much is too much, and too little is too little, go on both sides and fill in the gaps and call it a day. Don't try to get too much on there or it will be a month of Sundays for it to dry. We're going to lift this back up, put this back. I'm going to give it a quick wave to help it tack up a little bit. Make sure you do a 45 degree angle on that free edge and cock it up. Don't go straight down or you're going to get glue splattering on both sides. We're going to go up. We're going to rock it back and forth. You have 20 minutes to do this, so don't try to rush it. Just sit and hold it and let that glue take a hold. Okay, once the tip is took and hold, you can take your glue once again. And you can take it and go around the edge of that tip just to make sure that it's sealed down nice and tight for you. And it also helps blending. We're going to lift that back up. We're going to put it back right where we got it. We're going to take a little bit of a wipe to remove that glue residual. Time to tap it. Let go of that. We're going to throw that away and sanitize. And now we're going to clip the tip, the blade towards you when you clip it. It has to be an extension. The extension is a quarter inch past the tip of the finger, not the free edge. So make it, if you're talking nail terms, to about a two or a three. If that tip flips, You have to let go of everything in your hand and pick it up off of the ground or if it flips across the room, wherever. You have to retrieve that garbage. We're going to throw this away and we're going to sanitize. Now you're going to blend that tip. Remember, teacup pressure because you have a natural nail and a tip. You're going to want to get it just blended. Because you pre-blended it before you went on there, you shouldn't have much to do. Light pressure going up and down. Don't go back and forth on that natural nail. That's a big dock. We're going to blend it. Make sure that there's no overhang. 
and make it easy, make it just a square nail. Done. Okay, now I'm gonna manicure brush down. I'm gonna take the tips that I dumped out in my voided space. These are gonna go in the garbage. And I'm gonna sanitize. My tip cutters and my glue are gonna go in the to be disinfected. I'm gonna sanitize. And I'm gonna turn my client around and put my hands right there. Okay, now they're gonna have you do a sculpted nail application. The proctors are gonna say, you will now do a sculpted nail application. You'll do that sculpted nail on the assigned finger that they assign you. Today we're gonna to do it on the middle finger. So we're gonna do a sculpted nail on the middle finger. You have 20 minutes to do this section. They'll tell you when you have 10 minutes remaining. Do not demonstrate any abilities until the verbal instructions are given and you're told to begin. You'll turn the hand towards the examiner to indicate you finished. The instructions will now be repeated. Listen for that. Don't start until you hear the words, you may begin. First you're gonna do, you're gonna sanitize your hands. You're gonna sanitize the client's hands and you're gonna turn her around. You're gonna take a wipe it. You're gonna fold it in fourths. Remember, we're only concentrating on that middle finger. Do not touch the tip to the wipe. Just let it drizzle. Be deliberate when you put it back. Hold under the sidewall, drop, hold, rock and pull. Throw that away and sanitize. Now I'm gonna remove the shine from that middle finger. Again, you can move the other fingers out of the way if you need to. We're gonna etch the nail up and down the way the natural nail goes. Go around that cuticle. All you're doing is demonstrating the ability. We etch, we push back the cuticle, we manicure brush down, now we're gonna re-cleanse the nail. That's the one step that everybody forgets. So remember, we got to re-cleanse the nail to remove all particles of dust. Holding the sidewalls, hold, drop, and pull. Throw that away and sanitize. Now we're going to put the dehydrator on. This time it doesn't matter if you do the whole nail because we're putting acrylic product on the top. Cover the whole nail. Lid it back up, put it right back where you got it. Now you're going to get a form. You get a whole lot of forms, so you've got to find the end of a form. You're going to rip it. You're going to put your forms right back where you got them. You're going to remove the form. And now this, you're going to wad up. This is going to get thrown away with your clean hand. You're going to sanitize this hand and you can rub it in, and now you'll apply your form. All right, now we've got our form on. We're gonna get our primer. We're gonna prime the entire nail. We're gonna lift that primer back up. We're gonna put it right back where we got it. We're gonna get our wipe. We're gonna get our damping dish. We're gonna open up our damping dish, and we're gonna get our acrylic brush. Our acrylic brush is synthetic, so after each dip and bead, we need to wipe it thoroughly or that acrylic is going to stick. This is not like normal acrylic. It's like working with honey. So there's a, a procedure to do it that makes it easier for you. What we're going to do is we're going to dip our brush into the dampen dish, into our monomer. And you're going to hold it like a pencil and you're going to go in, almost like the bounce method. We're going to go in, we're going to go one, hold, one, two. Hold one, two, hold one, two, and we get a good size bead. We're gonna put it on our wipe, one, two, three. We're gonna put it at a 20 degree angle right there, one, two, three, and we're gonna release. We're gonna wipe our brush and we're gonna count to three. One, two, three, wiping both sides of our brush. With the belly of our brush, and I can't describe the pressure, very light pressure, we're gonna dab it. Again, make it to about a two, no longer than a three, because you have to remove that at the end. Carefully dab it. If it starts to gloss up, you wanna wipe your brush on both sides. I'm gonna wipe my brush. I'm gonna do that same technique. I'm gonna dip in. One, two. 
one, two, one, two. I'm gonna go in, one, two, three, and I'm gonna put it here. It doesn't matter if you do the one ball method, the three ball method, the two ball method, it's when you get a structured nail. I'm gonna wipe my brush and count to three, and I'm very, very carefully side, side, and center. And you are barely touching it. That's all I can tell you. Barely, barely, barely touching it. But there's a million ways to do the nail, so you do it what's best for you. Just know the more you play with it, the harder it gets. Okay, once you've got it into place, you can actually use your brush to file it. What I mean by that is the more you stroke it, the smoother it gets. You can move it up if you need to adjust your apex. You can hold, bring it up. It just still is almost like molding clay, but you will tell when it starts to set up. Once you get it like you like it, if you don't want it to bump because odorless acrylic takes a long, longer time to dry. I'm gonna set this up towards me. Don't set it towards them. Remember that means you're finished. We're gonna set it towards me. I'm gonna clean out my brush because I may have time to tweak it or fix it. And if you don't clean out your brush with your monomer, it's gonna set up really, really hard. Clean that, I'm gonna lit up my dampened dish. I'm gonna put it right back where I got it. I'm gonna put my brush back under cover. I'm gonna get rid of my wet cloth. I'm gonna sanitize and you're basically gonna just wait for it to dry. You're gonna tell when it's dry, when it sounds like a boiled egg. I'm gonna take my cuticle stick and I'm gonna tap it. And that is like a boiled egg, so I'm ready to go. I'm still gonna be really careful when I take this form off. I'm gonna take it off, I'm gonna let go of my client, I'm gonna throw that away, and I'm gonna sanitize. Odorless acrylic leaves a sticky layer. So we're going to remove that sticky layer with acetone. Put that back. Even when you still file it after you remove that sticky layer, it's going to feel like it's still wet. It really isn't. I'm going to throw that away and I'm going to sanitize. Now you're going to file that into shape. Be careful not to cut the surrounding skin or, or buff the surrounding skin with your file. Okay, once you've filed it how you need it, make it easy, make it perfectly square. We're gonna get a little bit of cuticle oil. We're gonna drizzle it, just a drop on the top of the free edge, or on top of the nail plate. Lid that back down, put it back. Now you're gonna buff. And we're gonna buff in an X fashion all the way down. Again, you're just simulating that you know the steps so you don't have to do it super smooth. We're just showing what we need to do with the steps. Once you've got all that done, we're now going to take our acrylic brush and the wipe that was on top of it. We're gonna take our forms and our dampen dish with acrylic product in it, and these are all gonna go into the trash. Now we're gonna sanitize. You're gonna take your dehydrator and your primer your tweezers and your scissors, and we're gonna put these in the to be disinfected. And we're gonna sanitize. We're gonna make sure everything is in a perfect line and everything is nice and straight. And we're gonna turn our client around. Okay, now they're going to, the partners are gonna tell you, you will now remove the sculpted nail. They're gonna say, you will now do a sculpted nail removal. You have 20 minutes to do this section. They'll tell you when you have 10 minutes remaining. Do not demonstrate any abilities until the verbal instructions are given and you're told to begin. They give you 20 minutes for this section. They'll tell you when you have 10 minutes remaining. The instructions will be repeated. Make sure you wait for them to repeat the instructions and they say the word begin. Once they say you may begin, you're gonna sanitize your hands. You're gonna sanitize the client's hands and you're gonna turn her around. You're gonna take a little bit of a wipe it. You're gonna fold it into fours. You're going to take your acetone, make sure that you watch your fingers, how you open it. Drizzle it over your voided space, put it right back where you got it. 
Drop, hold, rock and pull. Throw that away and sanitize. Now you're gonna to try to get this off. What you're trying to do is get it through the stress stop area. We wanna get through that tip. Get it nice and thin. Get rid of the free edge. We want to get rid of as much as we can to make it easier for the acetone to remove. You don't need to remove all of the acrylic, but you need to get it down to a tip thickness or a natural nail thickness. Okay, so now I've removed the tip of the nail and got a lot of it down to a, a thinner thickness. I'm gonna get my removal kit. I'm gonna get one piece of foil. I'm gonna open that up and I'm gonna set that finger on top of it. I'm gonna get one cotton ball. I'm gonna drizzle that with acetone. Make sure you get quite a bit. We're gonna lift that back up, put it right back where we got it. We're gonna set that on top of the nail plate. You're gonna fold it side, holding onto that cotton ball. We're gonna go side, holding onto that cotton ball, and we're gonna go up. Now we're going to push it so it stays on that nail plate. Make sure it's nice and tight. If acetone don't come out of it, you don't have enough acetone. Okay, now you can hold it for a minute if you want, or you can let go, and you're gonna sing the ABCs three times in your head very slowly. That's about three minutes. Once you've sang the ABCs, we're gonna pull this off with pressure. Let go of your client. We're gonna throw this away. We're gonna sanitize. You're gonna take your cuticle stick. You're gonna hold your finger and from cuticle to free edge, you're gonna gently scrape that nail. We don't wanna dig, don't dig. They wanna see it sliding against that nail. And you're gonna to start to see some of that acrylic kind of start to scratch off. Once you've done that, you're gonna put this right back where you started. And you're gonna take your file and you're gonna file off some more. Okay, so now we have finished filing down as thin as we can get it. We're gonna repeat that process one more time, putting the foil down and putting the wet cotton ball back down on it again and counting the ABCs three times in your head or three minutes. Okay, now after we've done the second time, we're gonna pull that off with pressure. We're gonna let go of our client, we're gonna throw that away. We're gonna sanitize. You're gonna repeat that process, except now they're watching you for the pressure that you use on the nail. They're assuming now that you're down to a natural nail, so you're gently gonna glide it. You're gonna put that right back where you got it. Now you're gonna use a teacup pressure, and you're very carefully going to file that nail very gently, because now we're on the natural nail plate. We're gonna file or dust that down. We're gonna take our emery board and we're gonna shape that just like you did the manicure. Now we're gonna buff. And put that down. We're gonna take oil. We're gonna drizzle oil. Don't touch the tip to the finger, put that right back. We're gonna rub it into the plate, up to the first knuckle and under the hypernychium. Now we're gonna remove everything that we used. We're gonna take our files, our cuticle stick and our wipes. They're gonna go in the garbage. Our cuticle pusher and our manicure brush is gonna go in the to be disinfected. I'm gonna do it both at the same time so I have less sanitizer to use. Now I'm gonna take my towels, I'm gonna to put them into the trash, I'm gonna sanitize, and I'm gonna turn it around, hands down. Okay, now they're going to do a blood exposure procedure. They're going to say, you will imagine the following scenario. You have sustained a minor inj injury to your index finger. At that point when you hear that, on your non-dominant hand, you're going to stick your index finger up. No matter what you do, that finger can't bend. It can't play with the others. You can still use your other fingers, but this finger must remain up. Just do that, it will help you when you do this. Once they do that, they're gonna come individually to each station, and you're going to perform a blood exposure procedure on yourself. 
Don't look at your neighbor. Just keep looking at your own client. Otherwise, you're considered cheating. Once they come to you, this is what you're going to do. You're going to sanitize your hand, like so, and you're gonna turn your client around. You're gonna reach back and you're gonna get your first aid kit. You can use these fingers, just don't let this finger get near anything. We're gonna open up our first aid kit. Inside our first aid kit, we're gonna get one antiseptic wipe, one glove, and one Band-Aid. We're gonna lid our kit back up. We're gonna put it back into its case and we're gonna put it right back where we got it. Now, our bags are open right here. You don't need to go directly to the garbage. If you don't go into the garbage or dive to the garbage, you will not have to sanitize in between. So I'm gonna take my antiseptic wipe, I'm gonna wipe, open it up almost all the way. I'm gonna take my bloody fingers and I'm going to, or the, the hand that's the blood spill. Get that out. I'm gonna wad this up and I'm gonna drop it into my garbage. You don't have to Michael Jordan up here, but you wanna just drop it about table height into it. You don't wanna dive into it either, right? You're gonna to have to sanitize. So about table height, drop it into the garbage and you're good. You're gonna open this up. You're gonna wipe it like maybe you have cut it on the pad of your finger. Again, you're gonna drop it into the garbage and you won't have to sanitize. We're gonna get our Band-Aid. And you're gonna open that up. The Band-Aid papers are really lightweight, so it's really easy for them to fly away. So make sure you wad it and drop it in. You need to dispose of the garbage as you go. Throw it in there. Now you're gonna wrap your finger up. You're gonna put your glove on your bloody hand. You're gonna sanitize your hands and turn your client around.